Bangkok is by far the largest city in Thailand. It's home to over 9 million people. Like other modern cities in the world, Bangkok has many skyscrapers, luxurious hotels, high-tech shopping malls, and a modern international airport. However, Bangkok has managed to retain its traditional charm. It's a mixture of old and new, of east and west, and this is apparent wherever you go in this intriguing city. If you're willing to barter, you can find just about anything you want here in Bangkok, particularly at low prices. Bangkok, known to the Thais as Kong Thep, which means City of Angels, was established in 1782 by King Rama I as the capital of Siam. Hey Fred, get over there and try and help him move that thing. <laughs> the snake farm was opened on November 21st, 1923 by Queen Sawang Dawangwang, then president of the Thai Red Cross Society. It was the second snake farm in the world after the first one at San Paulo, Brazil. Thailand is the home of 163 species of snakes, of which 85 are venomous. Imported anti-venoms were not always effective in neutralizing Thai snake venoms, and it is because of this that it became necessary to establish a local production facility that utilizes the venom of snakes from the region for making anti-venom. The yellow and black snake is a banded crate, and on the floor you see a Siamese cobra eating a rat. This is a mangrove snake. It is poisonous, but not deadly. Thai snakes fall into primarily three categories. The neurotoxic ones, which are the cobras and the crates, those that cause tissue and blood clotting injuries, the vipers, and snakes that are both neurotoxic and also destroy muscle tissue, the sea snakes. This is a king cobra. Cobras only eat other snakes for food. The information that we learned while here at the snake farm proved to come in handy later on in our trip. When we had a close encounter with a snake on a remote island, Fred nearly stepped on a Russell's Viper when we were 10 hours from the nearest hospital. Here they are demonstrating how they milk the snakes, or in other words, extract their venom. They take the venom from the snakes and then inject it into a horse. The horses become regular blood donors just as many humans do.